Action. Well, Coyote Pack, I think it's pretty safe to say that winter has set in in Ohio. And while it might be cold, that's not going to stop us from making an awesome behind the adventure. Welcome back everyone. Wow, it is seriously cold out here today. Like five degrees Fahrenheit, and boy do I wish that I was somewhere warm. So today we're taking you back down to Florida. You remember a couple of weeks ago when we did an episode all about catching anoles? Well, if you didn't see that episode, there was a scene at the end that gave me quite a surprise. So let's take an extended look at one seriously close call. Got a snake, right here, right hmm? here. What? It's a rat snake. no, it's a black racer. Holy cow, and they're super fast. Right there, you see him? Yeah, he's slithering. Oh, and I'm on this side of the logs, buddy. I'm gonna get you. Watch how fast they dart as soon as you decide to take off. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Woo! Oh, ho, ho. trying to catch a knolls, and we come across, ah! Ooh, he bit me. Good thing is he's not venomous. Look at that, rattling the tail, just like a rattlesnake. That's a warning sign where he tries to make me think that he's venomous. Even though he's not, ooh boy, he got my hand good. Now this is one of the top predators that's out here eating the brown anole. And they are so unbelievably quick. Oh, woo, mmm, again. Geez, maybe I should just hold him kind of out like this so I don't take any more bites. Look at how beautiful that snake is. Now, this is another species that does incredibly well in a residential area like this because there's so many things for them to feast on. Obviously, the brown anoles are probably a pretty easy snack, but then you've got all sorts of rodents, and they will even go after baby birds if they're in nests. These snakes can climb, but where they really shine is on the ground. And I'll put him down real quick. Hopefully, I'll be able to grab him a second time. Ready? Watch how fast the snake takes off. Ready? You good? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Come right at you. It's okay. Don't worry. Woo! And out in the open like this, he Someone can... stepped on him. Yeah, out in the open like this, he can feel that he has nothing to go under. So that's where he's going to show us defensive poses like this. He's just kind of rearing up. Look at that. He's got the tail rattling, trying to shake these leaves, make us think that he is a rattlesnake. And of course, you do have eastern diamondbacks around here. Watch your feet. It's okay. Don't worry about him, Mark. He's not going to hurt you. He actually feels more comfortable right there under your feet. Does he look at me as like protection? He does because you're a shaded area and potentially he could hide under your foot. Now he's coming behind you. All right, all right, all right. Let me just wrangle him back here. Nope, nope, nope. Jeez, look how fast he's going. Okay, whoa. Went right for my face. Holy mackerel. Okay, that's probably about as much as we need to stress him out. Let me see if I can just totally get him to calm down now. Come here, buddy. Here we go. Look at how beautiful that snake is. Incredibly smooth, incredibly smooth. And that's what allows him to move through the environment so quickly. Oh boy, he's looking right in my face and he's saying, just get a little bit closer. I gave you a bite on both hands and I would love to bite your nose. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, and he is musking right now, so that's another defensive tactic. Let me poop, scare you away with that smell. I'm sure it tastes pretty bad, but holy mackerel. That is the black racer. Kind of unexpected, huh? Totally unexpected. I don't know uh, if we're going to be able to top this. I was hoping for a bigger knoll. You never know what you're going to find. Oh, whoa. Did he bite you in the face? He bit my hat. You never know what you're going to find. Oh, whoa. Yikes. Talk about getting face to face with the black racer. I'll tell you, that encounter sure gives a new meaning to the phrase up close and personal. I do feel lucky to still have my nose, even though I can't feel it right now. I think it's time to head in and get some hot chocolate. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you next week. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out the time I got a little too close to the Gila Monster. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Oh, yeah, he got the whole top of my thumb.